Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I want to share this video. And I'm wondering if some of you will come up with the same conclusion that I'm thinking. All right. If you're familiar with um, Never Lose Truth, thought this lady's name was Deborah uh, something but I can't remember sounds like her but anyway the channel is never lose truth and she's always real uh, professional like vets her sources she starts off saying can I prove this is true no can I prove it's not true? No. But supposedly this was written by, it's, it's titled Coronavirus, Chinese Intel Officer Reveals the Truth. Indicators suggest a pandemic scenario in play. Turns out, they invented something that they could spray over the demonstrators in Hong Kong because they were getting out of hand. So they got some guys from uh, Muslim territory, took them to a so-called training field, and sprayed them with it. Well, at first, it did what it was supposed to do. It made them all retarded. Where they were just like, duh, what are we doing here? Whatever. And so they were no longer in trouble. Okay, these were radical Muslims. But then, a week or two later, they became psychotic like paranoid schizophrenics. And then their insides started melting, is, is pretty much how she put it. This is how the man who wrote this, and she's reading from his, his letter, certain parts, and it mentions that organs were melting. And then they died. And that this hospital that was put up in 10 days, or hospitals, whatever it was, they were not at all to help heal the sick. They were to house, well, the first section when you walk in, it looked like a hospital. And then they took you back and put you in a bed and you looked like you were in a hospital and you were there while you were in the flu-like feeling, uh, what am I doing here? You're in the retarded stage. And then when you get to the paranoid schizophrenic stage, you get moved behind into section two. And he got to see this because he's a Chinese intelligence officer. And then he's shown Section 3, which is where the Section 2 patients are being made to move the ones who have died and stack them to the ceiling until they could be moved out and then burned or whatever, burned or buried. Now, my question is, if... People in Wuhan were sprayed. Okay, if it was if it was just the researchers, she, I don't recall her going into this, and maybe because the guy didn't know, so he she didn't have it to read, or didn't read that part. I don't know, but um. 
you could go here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to read each line that she didn't bother to read. But what I'm wondering is if they sprayed an agent, like if Agent Orange was sprayed on you, you were going to get sick and possibly die from it. Maybe not. Not everybody died from that, but they ended up with disabilities. Well, but you couldn't breathe on somebody and make them have what you got. So what I'm wondering is, this has to be a biological, passed on like a flu, right? But why would you do that to your own people? The reason this man ends up telling on them is because his little boy caught it. Now, you know his little boy was nowhere to be sprayed. How did he catch it? Because his dad went through this place? Did he bring it home on his clothes? On his shoes? Good question. How is it being spread? I'm not trying to further the fear mongering. We're not to have fear. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you don't believe the words in the Bible, you're the one that needs to fear. You're the one that needs to take the precautions of making Jesus your Lord and Savior by admitting you have sinned, by confessing your sins and telling Jesus, yes, I believe, but you got to mean it. You can't just say the words. You have to mean it. That Jesus died on the cross for you and rose again three days later to prove he was God, visited around for 40 days, and then ascended back into heaven in bodily form, a glorified body, the kind we're going to get when we go to heaven. If you're raptured, now, after the rapture, then there's going to be a resurrection and all those people will have get their glorified body see I believe that's what's gonna happen at the sixth seal at the great earthquake all the bodies that are going to rise in the first resurrection that have died during the seals or before, that deserved to go to heaven. In other words, they lived a holy, blameless life by repenting, constantly keeping their slate clean. That's why we repent, because we still sin. Everybody still sins. It may be little sins. You may mess up and do a medium sin, but sin is sin. And how are you going to get to heaven with that blot on you? It's like when you sin, you get a blot on your garment. Your garments become filthy after you, you don't... Repent after years of being saved. In Revelation 7 verse 9, it talks about when the great multitude, too large to number, appears in heaven. They, they have washed their filthy robes white with the blood of the Lamb. You see, the blood of the Lamb covers our sins when we repent, when we ask for forgiveness. 
not at the moment of salvation all our sins are covered past present and future yes there's a scripture that says that but those future sins that you're going to rack up daily need to be repented for why else would jesus tell the churches in revelation chapters 2 and 3 repent or else I will blot your name out of the Lamb's book of life. Repent, or else I will move your candlestick out of its place. He will tell the lukewarm who believe once saved, always saved, but they're not doing the deeds they were told to do. In other words, they weren't obeying the words of Jesus. I will vomit you out of my mouth. I would that you were hot or cold, but because you are lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. In other words, I will reject you. Our bodies, when we're sick, or you eat something that's bad, you will vomit it out of your system to get rid of it that's why a 24 hour flu stomach flu is usually gone in 24 hours because your body is cleansing itself and it doesn't take very long usually if you're a pretty healthy person if you're not you might have it two days hopefully not longer anyway Uh, it does sound like if this is true, and why wouldn't it be? Why would a Chinese intelligence officer, unless he's one of them, because he tells in here that there are no, there's no enemies. They're all in agreement. I forget how it's worded, but he's pretty much telling on the New World Order elite and what goes on behind closed doors. Anyway, it's very interesting. We're in the end times. It won't be long. Those of us who are ready, who have a clean slate, and we're trying our best to walk that straight and narrow path. The one that leads to heaven. Not the broad way that the world wants to go. Because it's easier. It's more fun, isn't it? You can do things and not worry about it affecting your salvation. Of course, those who love God aren't going to do that. But you're still going to mess up from time to time. What do you do with that? Doesn't our Lord deserve to be said, I am so sorry, Lord. I am so sorry that I said that or I did that. Or I failed to help that person. I hope you'll think about that. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. The internet connection. Myself. All of you. And over all of your devices. And all your internet connections. So we can stay connected. Let me know what you think about this. Feel free to leave your comments below if you feel like it. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.